In this sum, length is 50, height is 30, and width is 30. So first we will draw layout. We'll mark 50 on this. 30, 30. Draw vertical line. And draw inclined lines at 30, 30 degree. So we'll get so we'll get this layout. Now after this, if you see the main diagram, see there are two parts. Part one, part two. So out of this part 1 and 2, which one is nearer to you or which one is nearer to the observer is part 1. This is part 2, which is behind. Right? So first we will draw part 1. So we will mark height 10. This length 50. Again height 30. Again 50. Now if you see the main diagram, how much is this? 10. How much is the height? Total 30. So how much would be this? 20. So we'll go down by 20 and we'll join this. So we got this first part. Now, if you see this first part, where is this in top view? This part is here. See in top view, it's here. So that we can draw this T part also. If you see clearly, this T part is this, right? So I can draw this part. So how much I have to go behind? 30. So I can go behind by 30. Then they have given 50. Then again it is coming inside by 5 mm. If you see this, see the main diagram. In top view, this distance is 5. This is 5. And then they have given 15, 50. So I can draw that. I can draw 5 from behind, 5 from ahead. I can again go inside by 15, 50. And I can join this. So I got this part which is in top view. Now what we can do is we see in isometric whatever is there in the front the same thing is behind. So I can draw this line again 20 down behind and we can join this. Now we need to draw part 2. So if you see in part 2 I have already drawn this part which is there in front view as well as in top view. In front view <coughs> In front view, this part is here. See, this part is here. Right? In top view, it's here. Now, if you see, they have given this slope, which is at the bottom. But this part is where? Here. So, we need to go how much behind? 5 behind. So, what we will do? We will draw a line. We will go behind by 5. And then we will join this. So, if you extend this line also, it will meet at the same point. Now we got this. Now if you see this part 2, which is here in front view, which is behind by how much? 5 mm. So I took 5 mm from here, 5 mm from here, and I have drawn this part 2. Now if you see top view, how much it is behind? 20. So we'll go behind by 20, 20, and we'll join this. Same way. If you see this behind part, which is 5 mm, that I can draw it over here. And whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. With the same logic, I can draw a line over here also, in parallel to this over here also. And this is the remaining part. Too. 